folks and everything they're dealing with. In the meantime, we've got perfect conditions here, Mark. Well, pretty um, perfect. <laughs> It depends on what you like. You know, if you look yeah. at the calendar and say that it's June 19th, maybe you're thinking it should be, you know, 90 degrees or something like that. But instead, we have much cooler than average temperatures. The wind that was rather gusty during the day yesterday and from time to time today, it's been getting up there. Well, the wind is gradually decreasing. And right now in Sacramento, the winds at 12 miles an hour and the temperature just 74 degrees. That's way below average for this time of year. And as we go through the evening, temperatures are going to drop off pretty quickly by midnight. Temperature will be down in the upper 50s and by early tomorrow morning temperatures will be down around 50. That's about 10 degrees cooler than average for the overnight low and these daytime highs are like 15 degrees cooler than average and here's a much colder slash cooler it is from this time yesterday. We're down 10 in Sacramento, down 11 in Yuba City. So you can feel it out there today. And also keep in mind here in the middle part of June, we are seeing the strongest sunlight that we get at any time of the year. These are the longest daylight days of the year. And here we're seeing temperatures way, way below average. We have mainly clear skies. There's some clouds that popped up over the coast range. There are also clouds in parts of Nevada County as well as into Plumas County, but you have to go well to the north before you find anything in the way of rain, but there have been some showers north of Redding and even some snow on the higher peaks right now on top of Mount Shasta it is quite likely snowing. All of that is part of this weather system that's bringing cooler air to our area, but it's also relatively dry. You just saw that the rain we're seeing to the north is very, very limited, and so that's why we can get the cooler air and we get this transition into colder temperatures without really getting anything in the way of rain. The low that's responsible for all that is going to hang around for the next couple of days, keeping temperatures cooler than average. That means tonight in the Sierra, their overnight lows will be down in the 30s around Tahoe and Truckee. Yeah, 30s for overnight lows, highs tomorrow, upper 50s. Quincy will see a high of 65. Arnold also about 65. Pollock Pines tonight will drop down to about 45 degrees. It's going to be a chilly night for this time of year. In the foothills, we'll also see many spots drop down into the mid 40s, like Angels Camp at 45 and then 72 tomorrow afternoon. So just a cool morning tomorrow for this time of year, but the afternoon with sunshine and light breezes, it should feel pretty comfortable. The marine layer has really gotten scoured out, so we'll see a lot more in the way of sunshine in San Francisco tomorrow. The high of 65, Fairfield, the high of 78. And for the valley, we will have clear skies tonight with overnight lows dropping down to the upper 40s to about 50. Again, that's about 10 degrees cool than average and highs tomorrow will be a little bit warmer than today, but not much. A high of about 80 in Modesto and for the Sacramento area highs will also be around 80, which is exactly 10 degrees below average for this time of year. The average high is now 90. We will see some warming over the next few days, a bit of a dip on Friday. Then temperatures come back up over the weekend. Should be a great weekend. And then maybe a week from today, we see a temperature around 90 degrees or so. We'll see how that goes. But in the meantime, the rest of this work week, Cool, very comfortable, really nice. Yeah, not bad. For a lot of people, it's perfect, right? <laughs> <laughs>